high-res studios have absolutely no shame. First it was Paladins, and then it was the Battle Royale mode for Paladins, and now it's Realm Royale, a Battle Royale game set in some weird pseudo-medieval era that is definitely not just a blatant ripoff of anything that I can recall being popular. No. No, no, I can't think of anything. I mean, just look at this. No, you've never seen anything like this before. Insane innovation from my boys at Hi res In all honesty, the fact that this game was developed by a team called Hi res Studios is probably the most insulting thing about this game. Look at this runescape ass looking dude. And although this game is insulting and almost entirely unnecessary, I almost kind of enjoy it. Probably more than I do Fortnite. I mean, it does have a few little quirks and differences that do prevent it from being a total ripoff. Look, I'm not excusing this game. It's a pretty clear bandwagon cash grab from high res much like the coincidental release of Paladins alongside Overwatch. And although the game doesn't have any skins or premium content yet, it definitely will in probably the not too distant future. And I'm certainly not going to excuse the overall development and technical quality of this game. If looking at how PUBG was made didn't make me angry enough, this game certainly did. Overall, there are a few things that I think are tolerable about this game. But from a technical perspective, the bads certainly outweigh the goods in Realm Royale. The gameplay is all new and exciting, jump out of vehicle in the sky onto map with an enclosing storm slash fog slash some kind of giant force field that forces you into an area of play and run around the map looting weapons and gear so that you can kill everyone else you drop with until you're the only one left. But no 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 no, you don't parachute or glide to the ground, you just smash into the ground like a real man so the game is completely different, okay? Haters resigned. But you know, like a couple of other games that probably don't need to be named, you can jump right into the action and either find the gun first and kill the other people you land with, or you don't find the gun first and get killed without being able to do anything about it. Either that or you can jump to an obscure location and do literally nothing for the entire game to guarantee a finish inside the top 25, which is just bucket loads of fun. But if you do die straight away, the game has a great way of punishing you with pretty horrible wait times that could probably be attributed to the lack of people playing, to be honest. You can avoid the wait, however, if you manage to survive after being downed, as you aren't incapacitated when you lose all your health, you're turned into a chicken. This is an interesting mechanic, as if you manage to stay alive for 30 seconds after becoming a foul individual, you're revived and ready to go again. I am a little unsure of the gameplay benefits of it, however, and I think that it encourages team play less than the incapacitation and revive feature in basically every other game of the genre, and it makes actually eliminating people effectively from long range near impossible. One thing I do kinda like about this game is that the map feels a lot more open because you can travel across it much quicker with the mount system, which partially eliminates a lot of that boring travel downtime that you get in games like these. Having to use the mount as much as you do is a little disorienting however, and it also confuses me that you manage to fit an entire horse in your pocket. The class system in honesty is a kinda neat feature, and I found myself using the warrior class for most of my matches. Each class has its own abilities and exclusive legendary weapon which can be made at a forge. I honestly think that the class abilities and bonuses make for more interesting gunplay and combat than what Fortnite has to offer, as people can't build a replica size model of the Eiffel Tower right on top of themselves when you try to engage them in combat. Coming back to the forge mechanic, this is something I don't like about Realm Royale. There are forges dotted around the map with which you can craft legendary items, and each item will take 60 seconds to craft. This is a really slow process, and in general slows down the whole pace of the game. The last thing a game in the battle royale genre needs is to be slowed down. There's already enough boring downtime as it is. Of course this game does have its moments, but that's just the nature of a battle royale game. Every now and again you'll be on a good run and on an adrenaline high and really enjoying yourself. It's just a shame that for the other 95% of the time you're playing, it's boring as shit. For me however, some of the best and or worst moments in this game were just laughing at how horrible it can be. Say it with me fellas, an early access period is not an excuse to release a poorly made game. You can use the whole but it's still in alpha argument all you want, it doesn't excuse the fact that this game really needs more work and polish before it should be available on Steam. It begs the question, should a game as unpolished and arguably as incomplete as this even be in early access? Because to be honest, I'd say no. I just can't help but feel the developers are just using the whole early access fiasco as an excuse to pump out their games early to maximise profits, rather than to actually involve consumers in their development. Either way, there's just some dumbass broken stuff in this game, like being able to ride your mount up an 80 degree slope, or the horrendous lag on a lot of the servers, or other things like the hitboxes and weapon balance. As much as you can hate Fortnite, you can hardly argue that it was anywhere near as broken or poorly made as this throughout its early access period, because from a technical standpoint, Realm Royale is, simply put, 
not really good enough. Look, this game just epitomizes poor game development, dare I say to an even greater degree than PUBG, and the visual design is one of the biggest defenders. The overall world and environment design on this game is rather deplorable. Grass clipping through the floors of buildings, weather effects going through the roofs of buildings, missing mesh faces and assets that have obviously just been lazily copy pasted everywhere, low quality texturing in general, this game has it all. Can we talk about how ridiculous the sword swing animation looks? Because it looks fucking stupid. Look, I don't even hate the overall aesthetic that much. I still think it looks better than PUBG in all honesty, because as I've said before, at least they're going for a stylized look rather than a half ass realistic approach. But the design quality of this game is beyond subpar. It's almost charming. I like to think of it as the RuneScape effect. The overall design is so bad that it's quirky and somewhat... enticing. But here we sit on the verge of an era where being bad on purpose is almost a legitimate strategy for game developers, with stuff like the deplorable AIDS simulator being unironically made and allowed on Steam, though I can't really say that hi res are being specifically bad on purpose. But I would reiterate that they call themselves hi res and the game is looking like this. So that's something to have a think about. Look, I have to admit, I still find this game kind of fun, and I know it's a terribly blatant ripoff of the entire genre as a whole, but there are some things that I think this game has done somewhat well. The fact that you can just have a fair and honest shootout with people with somewhat interesting abilities and maneuverability thrown in the mix, without some asshole building the Great Wall of China in front of you, is why I definitely prefer the actual combat in Realm Royale to Fortnite. But I simply just cannot justify the existence of this game. In a market that is already oversaturated with pure and utter garbage game development, this is not what we needed, but perhaps what we deserved. In the current state that it's in, I don't think Realm Royale is even fit to be an early access game. It needs more work and polish before it's not just a poster boy for everything wrong with the games industry. Sure, it doesn't have skin to win yet, but as I said earlier, it definitely will in probably not too long, considering there's already a shop tab in the menu despite there being nothing in it. It's a pretty cheap tactic from a pretty cheap developer, and they're definitely hoping to cash in on it. And I don't think it's the last we'll see from high res either. The next trend that catches on in the games industry, they'll flock to it like a soy milk drinker to a Nintendo console, ready to release another blatant and shameless cash grab. I give RuneScape 3 Battle Royale a negative 1 whoopers out of 10. Too much stoop? Not enough whoop.